you met Eric Trump, uh, Nikki Haley. Did you meet Vivek? Uh, briefly, yeah, I did. What was he like? Um, I mean, it, we caught him on an off night, I guess, because he was just suspending his presidential campaign, but still, um, you know, resolved with what he wants to do. Um, still interacting with everybody. He talked with the media for a while. Really? Yeah, we were uh, we were standing kind of near there when Fox was interviewing him and everything. But um, yeah, still pretty much the same. Yeah. I'm gonna shut this door okay. real quick. So, like, what was he like? Even though it was an off night, um, was he different than how he is like on the camera? Um, not really. No. Um, I think that basically, like, he was obviously dealing with some people who were a little upset that he was you know, done running for president. But overall, I think pretty much the same talking points um, saying that he wants to, you know, keep going with the America first agenda, still friendly and charismatic like he usually is. Yeah. But yeah, he's a really cool guy. I, I agree. What do you think about him being the uh, the running mate for Trump? I think he's a great pick, honestly. I, I think that there's a lot of um, a lot of other good options too. But I think that right now, um, we're in a place where we definitely need an America first candidate. We can't have any neocons, any yeah. establishment Republicans. With that said, I think there are other people that fit the bill of what I would be looking for if I was Trump. But I think that Vivek brings youth to the table. I think he was able to engage Gen Z voters a lot better than a lot of the other candidates were. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of polling had DeSantis up there pretty high with Gen Z too. But I think that... Um, I think Vivek really just connected with people in a way, engaged with social media as well, and gained people through that. Uh, and, and obviously his his policies are really good. I think that his foreign policy and what he wants the country um, to be in the long term lines up pretty well with Donald Trump's vision mm -hmm. of America. Yeah, I remember in the debate, he cornered Nikki Haley and... Um, he was mentioning like the regions yep. and I don't even remember what country it was. Maybe it was Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah. And he, he named one, two, three, four, five regions. And I was like, what? Yeah. And you could see, he was like, nobody else on the stage knows what I'm talking yep. about. And he was right. Yeah. And so he continued to go at Nikki Haley, um, calling her like a neocon and saying like, she's a world economic forum asset. What do you know about that? Cause I try to look into it obviously, but I'm not as knowledgeable as you. I think that what he's referring to there is Nikki Haley is very in line with what the Bush era was for the Republican Party. She is very pro-war, um, despite what she says about wanting peace and things like that. Politicians, you know, they always want war to be going on, a lot of them. And I think that that's why she wants to be so involved with Ukraine. Um, I don't think we have a good enough reason to be over there and to be putting so many resources and certainly not sending any men over there. And I think the point that he was trying to illustrate there is that she is putting another country's problems before our own. We have a lot of problems we need to solve at home. And what she's done is basically continue to advocate for putting more and more resources into a foreign war that really is going to benefit us nothing in the long run. Yeah. Um, as far as the World Economic Forum comment, I'm not super familiar with what her association is with that, to be honest, but I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Neither was I. I was just taken aback, though, because, like, of course it would be him to call her out. He doesn't have any, like, fear, which is interesting, I thought. I thought that he would get more attention and more votes from the Republican base in the in the, in the the primary. So I was a little bit surprised he dropped out so soon mm -hmm. compared to DeSantis, which that's another thing. DeSantis dropped out today. Yeah. Um, what a collapse. I know. 